Hey, one of the games go see with Star Wars Night of the Old Republic. Ready. I'm here. Um. Journal. Just go that Carthus home. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Um, yeah, pull on the Sith. A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower city. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. Uh, anyways, I wonder if it's on those Republic escape pods that crashed at the of the city. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. Yeah, it was spies. Yeah, Calm we are. down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. Yeah, it would. Oh, I think this off-worlder has her own agenda. Yeah. No problem. Do you know anything about this or not? I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas. And that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Becks don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulgars aren't so picky. They oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, I have to get in there. Ah, uh, Baskers say what happened, what would happen to it. Normally, the Vulgars would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable Told to you. leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. Swoop race? What does I have to do with it? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Okay. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. Yep. But I don't even have a swoop I, I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. I got enough to lose. I don't work with groups. You Canada. really don't have any other choice. Not if you want to get Bastila back. You should at least listen to what I have to say. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Becks this year. If you uh, win the race, uh. you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My oh no, I'm not going to the back loop for you. A bike with the accelerator installed can be any other swoop out there. Okay. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. Dirty bastards. And steal it back. Um, how do I know you lift your head of the bar? My word is my bond. Everybody in the lower city knows my reputation. Besides, you really don't have a choice. I'm your only ticket into the swoop race. 
How are, how am I supposed to get into the Vulcan base? Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Mission? Gadam, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. <laughs> Don't underestimate Mission or her Wookiee friend Zalbar. They're a formidable pair. Okay. Tough to go exploring the undercity by themselves. Uh... Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. I got, I've got Sith uniform to disguise myself. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past it. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniform. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Uh, okay. What Good ifs? Choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. You should set that. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, nope. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. What uh, the mission, the lower city. Move, yeah, clean it. Uh, can't save it. There. No, it's game free. Judge. Oh, yeah. Oh. Larry, warning like a trooper. Just hit this, my god. Ready. I'm here. Oh, they got a mage. That's what Tigno means, right? You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? I don't see Davik doing anything for this, this share. But we do all the work. Davik claims his part of the exchange, so let's see him prove it. Yeah, let's see the big crime lord come and get his money from the black workers. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, Candace. We didn't know you were working for Davik now. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. What well, a bunch of cowards. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Vex in line. But Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. 
Eh oui. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. David's got me working on a special assignment. Okay, what? Right. Charge. <laughs> uh, where the fuck are you going? Sheesh. Three thousand away. Three thousand five hundred. Oi. Yes. What's in your mind? Is this a good time to ask some more questions? I'm all ear, beautiful. Why do I get the impression you're not serious? Maybe I'm just avoiding your questions. Is this really necessary? Don't be such a challenge. It's just a few questions. Huh, how can I resist a challenge to my manly pride, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Then. You made your point. Interrogate it well. Exit so soon all your secrets will be mine. All the secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though. You're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. Like you said, we first met. When we first met, but I didn't have time for it to use a pause. Fast and as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose yep. that battle anyway, it got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Yep. It's more than a little surprise than what you happen to do here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I'm a scout. I was quicker into the fleet with my skills, if you must know. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. You, are you implying I had something to do with the crash? Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested a transfer aboard happens to survive. Okay. Why would my stu question my transfer? Uh, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I can tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, but whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. Shouldn't we be trying to work together? I mean, I have to expect the oh, uh, just to be safe. Then what do you what do you expect to become expected? If you expect the unexpected, then the unexpected ceases to be unexpected. You do know we're on the boat. Try something out. You 
happened. All right, all right. You must be the most damn persistent woman I've ever met. Damn right. But later, right now, I just want to get going. Okay, well, so I'm going to call town. So to the next time, ladies and gentlemen, games for kids. Best smoke me here, Kevin, because I will be back for breakfast. Very well.